नारायणम नमस्कृत नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चम नरोतम नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जया मुदीर तथो जया मुदीर नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टुकी कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय चेवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोपकुमाराय नंद गोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम गोविंदय नमो नम गोविंद नमो नम गोविंदय नमो नम गोविंद नमो नम गोविंदय नमो नम थैंक यू सो मच सो वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम चैप्टर कैंटो टू चैप्टर सेवन टेक्स्ट नंबर थर्टी टू सो रीड द श्लोक गोपैर्मखे प्रतिहते वृजाप गोपैर्मखे प्रति हते वृजा विप्लव्या अभिवर्सती पशुन कृपायारिक्षु धर्तचिलींद्रम इवा सप्ता दिना सप्ता वर्षो महेन्द्रम अनागैक शलिला गोपैर्मखे प्रतिहते व्रजा विप्लव्या देवे अभिवर्षती पशुन कृपायारिक्षु धर्तचिलींद्रम इवा सप्ता दिना सप्ता वर्षो महेन्द्रम मनिगायिक शलिला गोपैर्मखे प्रतिहते वृजा विप्लव्या देवे हबवर्षती पाशुन कृपायारिक्षु धर्तचिलींद्रम इवा सप्त दिना सप्ता वर्षो महेन्द्रमनगैक शलीला गोपे by the coward man make in offering a sacrifice to the king of heaven pratiyate being hampered vrja viplavya for devastating the whole existence of rajabhumi the land of krishna's past times devi by the king of heaven apivarshati having poured down heavy rain pashun the animals kripaya by causeless mercy upon them rirakshu desire to protect them rita held upon uchlindram uprooted as a umbrella eva 
exactly like that sapta dinani continuously for 7 days sapta varsha although he was only 7 years old mahindram the govardhana hill anaga without being tired eka kare in one hand only shalilam playfully translation and purport by divine grace ac bhakti vedant swami shri laprapad when the coward man of vrindavan under instruction of krishna stopped offering sacrifices to the heavenly king indra the whole tract of land known as vraja was threatened with being washed away by constant heavy rains for 7 days lord krishna out of his causeless mercy upon the inhabitants of vraja held upon the hill known as govardhana with one hand only although he was only 7 years old he did this to protect the animals from the onslaught of water parpat children play with an umbrella generally known as a frog umbrella and lord krishna when he was only 7 years old could snatch the great hill known as govardhana parvata at vrindavan and hold it for 7 days continuously with one mm-hmm. hand just to protect the animals and the inhabitants of vrindavan from the wrath of indra the heavenly king who had been denied sacrificial offerings by the inhabitants of rajabhumi fractually there is no need of offering sacrifices to the demigods for their services if one is engaged in the service of the supreme lord sacrifices recommended in the vedic literature for satisfaction of the demigods are a sort of inducement to the sacrifices to realize the existence of our higher authorities the demigods are engaged by the lord as controlling deities of material affairs and according to the bhagavad gita when a demigod is worshiped the process is accepted as an indirect method for worshiping the supreme lord but when the supreme lord is worshiped directly there is no need of worshiping the demigods or offering them sacrifices as recommended in particular circumstances lord krishna therefore advised the inhabitants of rajabhumi not to offer any sacrifice to the heavenly king indra but indra not knowing lord krishna in rajabhumi was angry at the inhabitants of rajabhumi and tried to avenge the offense but competent as the lord was he saved the inhabitants and animals of rajabhumi by his personal energy and proved definitely that anyone directly engaged as a devotee of the supreme lord need not satisfy any other demigods however great even to the level of brahma or shiva thus this incident definitely proved without a doubt that lord krishna is a personality of god and he was no and he was so in all circumstances as a child on the lap of his mother as a 7 years old boy and as an old man of 125 years of age in either case he was never on the level of of the ordinary man and even in his advanced age he appeared a young boy 16 years old these are the particular features of the transcendental body of the lord ओम ज्ञान तिरमंदस्य ज्ञानं जनान शालकाय चक्षुरन मिलित नेन तस्मै श्री गुरुवै नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोविस्तम सात्वितम येन भूतले स्वयं रूपाकतम मयम ददादि स्वपदिदकम नमः ओम विष्णुदा कृष्ण प्रेष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नित नामने नमस्ते सरस्वतते विगौरवाणि प्रचारिने निर्विशेष शून्यवादि पश्चदेश तारिने नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम पदाय दे कृष्ण कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गुरुतस्व नमः पंचतत्वक कृष्ण भक्तस्वरूपक भक्तावतर भक्तक निमिभक्तशक्ति हे कृष्णा करुण सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपी स गोपी का राधाकांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदवनेश्वरे वर्षभानो सुधे देवी परमा हरि प्रि जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधरा श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे when the cover man of vrindavan under instruction of krishna stopped offering sacrifice to the heavenly king indra 
The whole tract of land known as Braja was threatened with being washed away by constant heavy rains for seven days. Lord Krishna, out of his causeless mercy upon the inhabitants of Braja, held upon the hill known as Govardhana with one hand only. Although he was only seven years old, he did this to protect the animals from the onslaught of water. So here, in this canto, Sukadeva Goswami, like you know, basically Sukadeva Goswami is talking, is telling all the incarnations of the Supreme Lord. So here, when he came, comes to the past, uh, the uh, the Swayam Krishna, the original personality of God at Krishna. So he is explaining some of his pastimes, the like you know, very very prominent pastimes. So one of them is this shloka where Lord. He's been explained, like, you know, how he, like, Lord Sri Krishna being the absolute truth, being the supreme personal of Godhead, lifted Govardhana Hill, you know, to protect the Brajavasis when Lord Indra was very, very angry. So, we are, we can see, you know, how, you know, when we are worshipping the supreme personal of Godhead, we don't need to worship any other demigods. So as as it is said in the Bhagavad Gita also like you know kama is there hita jnana prapadanti anya devata tam tam evate swaya niyata prakrte swaya like why do we go to demigods because we have some material desires to fulfill when we have some material desires to fulfill we do we go to different different demigods you know and and it is also mentioned in the uh, scriptures you know all the puranas like you know for to get this particular uh, desire, you need to worship this, uh, you need to do yes, this yajna, you know, so and so forth. So the Brahmanas tell that, you know, so get, get, they 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 know the way the scripture, so they say, okay, you, you, you have this desire, so you know. But, you know, so by that we get entangled into the material, this world, when we are worshipping the demigods. You know, to get out of this material world, we only need to worship Mukunda, the one who can leave, give liberation. Like, you know, only the Vishnu Tattvas have that potency to give Mukunda, the liberation. So that's why when we worship the demigods, we are getting entangled into this material world, but that old age disease life cycle. So, and and as um, by this episode, you know, Lord Krishna himself is proving that there is no need to worship any demigods. Because once Whoever is worshipping him is actually doing the right thing. He is on the right path. As it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam also, we do not pour water on every leaf or a branch of a tree. We just pour water intelligently on the roots of the water, thinking that once we pour water to the roots, the whole tree is nourished. So Srimad Prabhupada also used to give an example, like when we eat food and pass the food to the stomach, so we know that the whole body gets nourished. We don't individually feed the eyes, nose, hands, legs like that. So when we feed the uh, stomach, everything is nourished. So similarly, when we worship the Supreme Lord, everything, everybody is actually automatically worshipped. That's why Lord Krishna also says, Bahunam Janvana Mante, Gyanavan Mampradante, Vasudevam Sarvamiti, Samatma Sudurlabaha. Samahatma is telling that is a Matma who is after many, many births realized that worship the Supreme Lord, Vasudeva, as a topmost. He is a Matma. So we, we can so by reading, by understanding the scriptures, by reading the scriptures, we can come to this knowledge. Otherwise, you know. Without the um, reading the scriptures or any mercy of a Vaishnava devotee, we cannot understand exactly the Leelas of Lord Krishna even. So you might just think, okay, it might be just, you know, a pastime or maybe some myth or something like that, you know, some uh, 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 assumptions, you know, people make many assumptions. So it might be like that. But when we read the scriptures, when we come to real understand that it is the actual fact. The Govardhan Hill is already there in Vindana. It still exists. So he lifted it. And we can see that, you know, it is so huge. And by that also, we can understand that the Supreme Lord is an absolute truth. He is, means what? Like he is the same Lord, even if he is a justly newly born 
six years old baby when he killed Putana or when he lifted Gordon Hill when he was seven years old or when he was in the Purushetra helping Harjuna in the Mahabharata war. So he was almost like, you know, uh, 125 years old. So, but irrespective, when, when she was young boy, so he reached to the Navayuvana, like, you know, 16 years old. So it is said, like, you know, Krishna never gets more older. It doesn't look more older than 16 years old boy. 16 years, four months. And Radharani never gets older than, I believe, six, 15 months, 15 years, eight or nine months. Like, they, they always look very young. Because they are absolute. In the, even though they come into this material world, they come in that absolute body. They, they don't come into this material body. You know, that's why they, they are the absolute truth. So by which we can understand this. See, and also, like as it is said, you know, Lord Krishna he lifted the Govardhana hill to protect the Brajavasis and the animals in that uh, the coward men and women and the cows and the uh, all the animals in the Braj Bhumi. But also it is, you know, to prove to the world that he is the Supreme Lord. It is not an ordinary thing, you know, a seven years old boy. Because many now, like, you know, especially in this Kali Yuga, many people proclaim that they are God. You know, so they, are, they proclaim that they are God. But here is the real God. He can lift Govardhan Hill for seven days. So how can any ordinary person can do that? To show that he is the absolute truth, he is the real, uh, the supreme lord. He also showed the uh, uh, this um, Virata Swarupa. Nobody else showed that Virata Swarupa. Only Lord Sri Krishna showed it because he is the absolute truth. So by this we can understand, you know, and like as I said, like you know, by reading the scriptures. We can come to this knowledge. Otherwise, you know, there are many cheaters outside. And, and, and also now people want in this Kali Yuga instant food. So they need instant bhakti also. So they want everything. Oh, I don't have time. I can just give you some money and all that. So you just, you know, do a puja on behalf of me and my family. You know, I want just have all the kind of happiness. Real world happiness. And I want all peace. It is not possible. Lord Krishna says, Bhogdanam Yagana Tapasam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram Sudaram Sarva Bhutanam Yatva Maam Shantim Rachati. Like who gets peace in this material world? Who really understands that Lord Krishna is the Bhogdanam, he is the supreme enjoyer of all the yajyas. He is the master of the three worlds who understands it, not just by, <coughs> by uh, go, uh, he has to understand that, he has to realize it. So then only it will, they, then only he will get the mercy of the supreme lord then he will have peace and happiness in his life and then like also it is said like you know when we are practicing this bhakti you know try to maha mahat bhayat lord krishna says in the uh, second chapter of shloka like by practicing this bhakti there is no loss or diminution you know we can we can overcome even the greatest fear of our life what is the greatest fear of our life Death. Death is the greatest fear of our life. We can even overcome that. So we can see presently also, you know, how like all this pure Vaishnavas, like, you know, Maharajas, all Srila Prabhupada disciples and some of the pure devotees, also we can see the charm in their face, you know, that peace and happiness in them. Because they have overcome this. They have overcome this material world distresses. So that's why they are at peace. And they know for sure that they have done, perfected their life. And Srila Prabhupada, by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are in a safe position. But we also, by practicing that, following their footsteps, we can also achieve that. So that's why Lord Krishna is uh, exhibiting this uh, pastimes so that we can understand Him, that He is the Supreme Lord. He is the master of all the masters. Sarva karana karanam is the cause of all the causes. So we have to understand it. That's why he is enacting these pastimes. And, and by this we can see like, you know, how you know, 
uh, Lord Indra was being very much angry when he was not offered his share of uh, sacrifices. So demigods are, you know, also having some karma, you know, desires. But the Supreme Lord is not so, you know. So he is, you know, it is also said, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam Yomya Bhaktaya Prechiti Tadaham Bhaktaya Upadratam Tadatme Asnami Priyatatmanaha He just said, okay, just offer some fruit, flower or a leaf or water. How? With pure love. And what he says, I will accept it. I will accept it. He is not, he is not. There are Lacks and lacks of Lakshmi Devi in Goloka Vrindavan serving him. He doesn't need our uh, offering. You know, he doesn't need our service. But he is very much, he wants us to come back home, back to him. So that's why he accepts it. He allows us by his kind mercy to do service to him. Even though we are not qualified. But by the mercy of Sri Guru and Sri Prabhupada, we can do that. And he accepts it. So that's how it is. So we can see, like, you know, how the Brajuvasis were also completely surrendered to the Supreme Lord. They could not think of anybody else than Lord Sri Krishna for help. And Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, what he says? Now may bhakta prayashati. My devotees will never perish. So he's giving us the assurance. So this is the, you know, benefit of practicing bhakti. People think like, you know, what is the use of practicing bhakti? Because we are so much business oriented, we have so much materially oriented that, you know, whatever materially we do, we can see the results, right? I, I, I do a job and I get money. You know, I do some help to you and you help me back. You know, I satisfy senses, you satisfy my senses. So we are involved in that. So, but so that's why when it comes to bhakti, it is not immediately right. So we say, okay, what is the use of this then? Now, why should I do it? Why should I invest my time in this? So that that yeah, bhakti is like that because we cannot expect the results to be immediately. This is this this will only come when Lord Krishna's mercy is there. Two fingers to short, Damodar Leela. We need to endeavor first and then the mercy will only come when Lord Krishna accepts it. So that's how it is. So, But when we practice spiritual life and perfect it, so there is nothing greater to achieve in this material world than going back home, back to God. It. So struggle, like you know, we, we are struggling so much in this material world to upgrade ourselves materially. But for that, we are, for little happiness, we are struggling so much. But we don't see that struggle. We are just seeing that, oh, little happiness. Oh, I'm so happy. You know, I'm, I have achieved so much. I have done so many things. I have so many things. You know. But to get to that position, you know, we might have spent like, you know, 30, 40 years of struggle. So, if, if like, say, same, same thing, like, you know, if you spend it, if we really, you know, Prabhupada always used to say, you know, simple living and high thinking, if we live on that basis, you know, and then practice our devotional service more and just materially, we just live on a simple things, you know, then we are perfectly oriented because we, at the end of our life, when we, once we perfect it, then we are going back home, back to God. Then there is no birth, dead, old age disease. This is the primary problems of our life. These are the primary problems of our life. Not economic development, not having a big uh, car or a big house, nice spouse, uh, you know, all the bank balance, all the gold and everything. No, no, that is not a primary problem. The primary problem is this, to how to overcome birth, that oldest disease. You know? And by year we can see, you know, how Lord Krishna is giving that opportunity. See how the Brajwasis were always engaged in his service. And when he, any difficulty came, 
he is there to protect same thing like amrish maharaj he, he was perfected in he, he was a king no but he surrendered to lord shri krishna and also in bhagavad gita also like you know when arjuna was people like you know he was talking initially logo as a friendly level on a friendly level on a friendly level he was talking to lord shri krishna but the turning point shloka is this i believe second chapter 6 shloka karpane doshapataha swabhava prachami tvam dharma samuda chetasaha yashchantran nishitam buritan me shishyaste ham sadhi mam tvam prapannam karpane doshapataha this is the problem like you know we 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 do not accept that i am miser and i have weakness see this is the turning point where arjuna from friend he became a student and then lord krishna started speaking bhagavad gita so we have to accept that yes i have i have defects we have four defects and lord uh, arjuna is also accepting that you know he is is thinking is talking like this because he is miserly he is miserly thinking of his friends families and he is become weak and he doesn't know so he is telling arjuna krishna krishna you tell me for sure what is the dharma as you know the real dharma tell me for definitely the what is the best for me now i am prapannam i am surrendering unto you and i am accepting you as my guru so that's why you know once we surrender to lord shri krishna krishna will never ever let go of us it is said you know little bit service to lord shri krishna we might forget it but lord krishna never forgets it so and also in bhagavad gita also lord krishna says that you know and like you know what arjuna asks questions okay what happens to a individual like you know who is practicing yoga but he is not able to finish it right we are reading that so but in that he says either i will give him another chance either in a pious he will take birth as a human in a pious family or in a big aristocratic family or in a very pure brahmana vaishnava family where he can continue his bhakti so so much benefit is not available in any other path than in bhakti so that's why practicing bhakti yoga is the topmost and i just said like you know and also um um sunday ramcharan prabhu said like you know the the best way of worshiping in this age of kali yuga is by praying to lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he is a kali yuga avatar and by practicing the yuga dharma what is the yuga dharma by chanting the holy names of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare by chanting this holy name of the lord we can achieve the same perfection as it was in satya yuga by practicing meditation as in treta yuga by performing big big sai sacrifices as in dwapar yuga by elaborately worship the deities in the temple so in this age we can just chant and achieve you know, past time and then when we pra- practice the beauty of you know this bhakti is like you know once we perfect this life so we are given an opportunity wherever because krishna is enacting this past times in many universes this universe he acted 5000 years more than 5000 years back but he is doing this past time somewhere else some different university so once we perfect our life in this then what happens krishna gives us an opportunity to take birth in there where he is enacting that past time like how he acted in uh, uh, vrindavan gokula so we will take birth there you know first and enjoy the past times and then from there we go to goloka vrindavan so so nice we always feel right when we are hearing so how how we can feel relish you know because this is the beauty of lord shri krishna naam roopa guna leela this is very very unique to lord krishna his past times are so relishing so much enjoying we also feel oh this is so nice wish i could have been there right we can be there once we perfect our life we can be there krishna is giving us an opportunity but we are saying not yet 
We are saying not yet. Krishna is saying, okay, come, come. We are saying not yet. No? Because lust is must. Right? Lust is must. I need to fulfill my material desires. I have so many things. So then what to do? So like that. So and from here we can see, you know, by even as as Prabhupada is mentioning, even you know, not even though like worshipping the different different demigods, you know, not satisfying even to the level of Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva, you know, we have no we have not to worry any about anything. So as we can see, you know, uh, in Brahma, in Brahma Samhita also, Lord uh, Brahma, Brahma, Lord Brahma Himself is singing, Ishvara Parama Krishna, Satchitananda Vigraha, Anade Radhe Govinda, Sarva Karana Karanam. He is singing in Brahma Samhita. He is saying, Ishvara, of all the Ishwaras, Lord Krishna is a Parama, Supreme. So, if you are, you know, worshipping Lord Krishna, how Brahma will be angry? He will not be angry. He will be very happy. You know? If you are worshipping Lord, you know, Lord Ramachandra, how Lord Hanuman can be unhappy? How can he be angry? This is the problem, you know, especially this is not a problem for the, in the Western world, but especially in the India, where we are from childhood, we have been, you know, because there are many gods, so we are trained to worship, you know, on particular days, certain particular god, demigods, you know, thinking that they can fulfill our desires, you know. So that is the idea about it. So that's why, you know, many people who, who, are, who come to also to the temple and when we are telling them, okay, okay, practice and uh, chant these holy names and practice bhakti yoga, worship Lord Shri Krishna only, you know. So he is the absolute truth. But in their mind, it is always saying, how can I worship only him? Because I have been worshipping Lord Ganesha, Lord Durga Devi, Lord Shiva, Kartikya, you know. How, if I don't worship them, how, if, what happens if they are angry? You know, it will not be good on, uh, on me. You know, and people are very much afraid of Lord Shani. You know, Shani Dev, you know, is, um, is, the, is the one who, you know, cursing, cursing God. So if he is, he is, he is, if he is on somebody, then whatever he does, his work will not be successful. He will always be a failure. He, 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 that's why they pray to him so that he is not merciful upon them. He is merciful upon them and he doesn't get angry on them. But if Lord Shani Dev is angry on them, then, you know, so then people are very much afraid of him. So that's why, you know, so, so certain things, like certain ways are there. So that's why. And But over here we can see, like in Srimad Bhagavatam, there are so many pastimes where Lord Shiva is becoming very happy. The Prachetas, when they were going for uh, performing austerity, so they come across Lord Shiva. And they, when, they, when he understands that they are going for perfection of their life, living everything, all the big kingdom and everything, he becomes so happy. And he gives them how to practice Bhakti Yoga. He, he gives them the knowledge. So we can see like how Lord Shri Krishna is, uh, Lord Shiva is encouraging, you know, how to worship Lord, uh, Lord um, Krishna. And and also like you know, I, recently I got this uh, to know about this pastimes. You know when when Lord uh, Shiva, Lord, Lord Shambo wants to uh, you know enter into the pastimes of Rasalila, you know, so he he could not get into it. Many, many demigods wanted to get into it, but they cannot. It was very much restricted. Only Nitya Siddhas, devotees, gopis could go into it. And that too, you know, Sadhana Siddhas, gopis also cannot go into it. There are Brajavasi gopis, only Nitya Siddhas. Nitya Siddhas, when they are eternally pure devotees of the Supreme Lord. They can only go into the Rasalila. The Sadhana Siddhas, like, you know, who have practiced austerities and bhakti and all that. So they could not even go into the Rasa Leela. So, but Lord Shiva wanted to go. He is a Param Vaishnava. No? So, but uh, he could not go. So then they go, he tries to get into the uh, 
uh, enter into it. So that the gay people said, I want to go. So he said, oh, even though Lord Shiva, you are, you are not allowed to enter in. This is highly restricted area. So he said, okay, I want to get in. So what can I do? So he said, okay, if you really want to go, so go and talk to uh, Vrajadevi, Tulsi Marani. She can guide you something. So he goes, he says, okay. Um, Lord Shiva goes and says, okay, I want to enter into the uh, uh, this um, Rasa Leela. What can I do? Okay, you cannot get into like this. You have to become a um, gopi. So go take bath in the Manasa River. river. You know, so Ganga, and then it will transform you. So then he goes by the mercy of Vrajadevi, uh, Devi, Vrinda Devi. So he goes, he takes bath. As soon as he takes a three dips and he wins, as soon as he coming out, he transformed into a gopi. He transformed into a gopi. And then he, he goes again. He said, okay, I want to enter in now. So he said, okay, you, you, you did transform into a gopi, but you cannot enter in until unless... It is approved by Lord Krishna or Lord or Srimati Radharani. So when, as, when that argument was going on, so Radharani hears and she comes. She says, okay, what happened? Okay, this is Lord Shiva, Shambho. He wanted to enter and he transformed into a gopi by the mercy of uh, Devi. So he wants to enter in. So he says, okay, I want to enter in. I want to see be the pastimes. I want to see this Leela. So how, how can I do it? So uh, uh, Radharani being very merciful, he says, she says, yes, you can definitely enter in. Okay. But, you know, Lord Shiva being very, very kind, he says, I'm the demigod of the ignorance. You know, so many bad things come upon me. People just throw, you know, all the ignorant things upon me. And I have to do certain things which I, which is not good, but still being the ignorance uh, power, uh, more in the in the mode of ignorance, even though Lord Shiva is not in the mode of ignorance, but he has to work in that way because that is his duty. So he says, okay, but Radha says, don't worry, you know, I will engage you in the service of this Rasa Leela. I will make you the gatekeeper of this. You will be the head gatekeeper of this. So nobody can enter into the Ras Lila without your permission. So you are head, head chief, chief gatekeeper appointed by me. And henceforth, Lord Shiva is there. Whenever the Ras Lila is happening, Lord Shiva is there as a Ras Lila and not allowing anybody. So that's why, you know, so we can see how the demigods, the topmost level of demigods are also Engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord. And it also says, Vaishnavaiti Shambho. So when we are worshipping Lord Shiva, we have to worship him. Like in the mood of a devotee. Like, you know, please help me to worship the Supreme Lord. Lord Shri Krishna. So in that mood, when we are worshipping the demigods, no problem. But if we are going to the demigods for material, uh, material uh, benefits, then it's a problem. Because why it is a problem? Then we are getting entangled into this material world, life after life. So, this is the loss. So, as, as you can see here, it's a very um, beautiful pastime, you know, and it is like, you know, like Gordon Hill is so, so uh, huge. And we also do it here in the uh, month of Kartik in our own temple. We build a nice Gordhan hill with all the sweets and everything. And then we do a parikram of it. So it is as good as Lord Sri Krishna himself. Radharani, Radharani says that I will not come to a play. When, when Lord Krishna was uh, about to start his pastimes in Vrindavan, so he invites Radharani, okay, let's go and start or uh, uh, do our pastimes in uh, uh, Vrindavan. He says, okay, I cannot go to a place where there is no Yamuna River and there is no Govardhan Hill. If they are both there, then only I can come. So then Krishna has to bring Yamuna River and Govardhan Hill also. So Govardhan Hill is not that is as good as Lord Sri Krishna. Right? And, and by here, you know, we can see that how is the absolute truth. This is to show, you know, so people when, see, this is, this is where 
like we have to use our intelligence like a god can lift a golden hill whereas many people are proclaiming that they are god can they any time do such kind of pastimes for them to accept whatever they are saying that i am god as the truth they can be very good talking you know people are very good they give very nice lectures they will you will be bewildered get bewildered by the mesmer they will give so mesmerizing speeches and everything you will get lost oh wow so nice he is so great they will show some magic you know they will float on the water they will walk on the water they will bring some magic things and all those things oh wow he is so god is bringing is you know bringing gold chain gold out of his nowhere you know if that is the case then you know in this world there should not be any poverty right you know, he can keep on giving everybody a gold chain or some gold item so that nobody can be if he is a really god then he should do that and get rid of all the poverty <laughs> yeah this is this is the you know ignorance because when we when because we do not have that's why you know iskon we should be very proud because we have been trained to follow these three things sadhu shastra and guru and we know that when we follow these three things we can never be wrong sadhu the acharyas shastra the ved the scriptures bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam chetna charitramita when we read the scriptures we understand what is what who is the absolute truth and guru and by the mercy of guru how to practice it how to follow his instructions you know all that so it helps us to be always in the right path you know so that's why that's why when we are in the right path so when we are in the this uh, bhakti krishna is always there to protect us we should have that assurance it and it is also of course it is also ye yata mam prapadyante tam tatam ya bhajame ham lord krishna says whoever does bhakti how much ever bhakti does i reward him accordingly you cannot go to a shopkeeper and say okay 10 dollars taking 10 dollars and say okay give me that 100 dollars worth of product it doesn't happen so if you are doing 10% of bhakti you get 10% of bhakti 20% of bhakti back maybe by mercy of krishna but you cannot but, so that's why ye ye mam prapadyate tam tatam ya bhajam ya the more we are practicing our devotion service the more we are having faith and determination by in practicing this bhakti the more we will be always be in the safe hands and we will always be getting the mercy of the supreme lord shri krishna as how all the brijwajis are getting it okay thank you so much i'll stop here and uh, if you all have any questions any comments anything to add please feel free to do so Hare Krishna Prabhu thank you so much you explain it so nicely Prabhu everything and okay. especially i like that part when you said like people are very much afraid of sunny dev <laughs> that was really true you know um i used to do you know when i was like small so mm -hmm. my family like the my uncle family especially when i was there for uh, like 3 years i was there Uh, to study so that time i used to, they used to tell me to do sunny puja every saturday we used to do <laughs> sunny yeah. puja because they are really afraid of sunny and also when i get married my father in law he was like a special priest for sunny devta so <laughs> he always every day he used to get puja from somewhere you know and he used to get things from the sunny when he did puja you get some stuff right and um, yes. whenever something happen i was feeling like because he is getting this kind this from sunny puja maybe that's why we are getting trouble <laughs> so i was one day i was like really angry you don't have to do this <laughs> anymore then after yeah. Uh, yeah after i got married like uh, then i didn't do this uh, sunny puja anymore and also uh, after coming to the krishna consciousness i never did <laughs> thank you so much for all That's so nice no, to remember all of so this. Much. Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhu. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the class, obviously, and thank you for showing the class times about Shiva and how Hindu religion and God just don't compare to Krishna. Um, in the poor, poor, in the poor, poor we're getting the mm -hmm. class that we're going down from Yes. And seeing, you know, People can see, yeah. The faith, the faith the the inhabitants of Govardhan had in Krishna to protect him and how they think there's mercy. Um just trying to apply that, you know, to ourselves as devotees and how we practice our bhakti and move forward. And like you said, we, we put our sadhu, sastra and guru. Um so how can we how can we develop, you know, Building our example in Krishna consciousness, because we always hear that term, you know, um, examples better than precept to be able to, you know, live in bhakti day to day. And when you were giving this class, I was thinking of, of um, 624 in the Bhagavad Gita, we should engage ourselves in Krishna consciousness. And then Prabhupada gives that pastime as a sparrow. Um, mm -hmm. So thinking that, like looking back at all of the devotees who have come before us, even. Um, how can we hope to continue to press on even when faced with struggles? You know, some some people need, you know, uh, that like the non devotee needs validation, or they need that the, the paper, they need to know the work they're putting in has some sort of reward. But when I think of, you know, us as Krishna conscious devotees, it's more like there's a Greek pastime for a man named Sisyphus, or he's, he's pushing a rock up the hill, he's endeavoring. He's trying very hard, but that rock always comes back down. But he, he has to continue, and we can take that any way we want to take it. But from the Krishna consciousness perspective, I was, you, know, you know, the struggles come our way. We may fall down, but with faith in Krishna, we continue on. So could you elaborate on, you know, how we can set our example in Krishna consciousness to help, you know, Yes. That light that you know, around us and just burn brighter. I've heard Balabhad just say that before as well. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for your question. So, basically, difficulties, there is nobody in this material world without difficulties. Mamupitya, Puna Ravartino, Dukhalam Ashwastam. Lord Krishna says that this material world is Dukhalam Ashwastam. It's a place of miseries and, and temporary. So, in this material world, nobody is happy. We just think that all the worldly problems are coming to me only, oh my Lord. You know, why only me? All, all the difficulties are coming upon me. I'm so unfortunate. I'm so unlucky. I don't have your mercy. You know, you know. But Lord is giving us everything. The position where we are in now, it is only given by the mercy of the Supreme Lord. We don't see what is giving. We only see what is not giving because I think I should be, I'm very much rightful to get this. But Krishna knows when to give us at what time. Mm -hmm. Lord Krishna knows. And I don't think so. Our difficulties is as much difficulties as Kunti Devi. If you know the past times of Mahabharata, if you read Mahabharata, if you have seen how the Pandavas were put into trouble from their very birth. And Kunti Devi being the mother, she has to undergo trying to protect her children from childhood. So much of problem until the war of Mahabharata. Big war. She lost everybody. But still, at the end, what she is praying, Oh my Lord, now as we got this kingdom, I don't need this kingdom. I Give me troubles. Because whenever I had troubles, you are always there with me. because And it is also fact, you know, in, in when we are in difficulty, we remember God more. Mm -hmm. See, and it is a fact, if you see, after COVID, after COVID, many people became God conscious. Earlier, they were not. Uh, have you seen that? Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. After COVID, many people started believing in God. Initially, it was not that uh, that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that's what when difficulties come upon us, people tend to become more God conscious. And it is a mercy. And, and as a devotee, we should have this under understanding that it is the mercy of the Lord for us to come closer to Him. Because the more we remember, more see and see, we can also see the example of Srila Prabhupada himself. He was a very very big pharmaceuticalist. Mm -hmm. 
He was so big, like you all don't know in India, it's a, it's a big pharmaceutical company that point of time called Bengal Chemicals. He was like almost competitor to that Bengal Chemicals. It is still there. In Mumbai, we can see Bengal Chemicals. It was there. So he was a competitor. He was a, such a big business uh, personality. He could have he could have raised his pharmaceutical company like you know what we call it as Pfizer and all that now, you know. But he was unsuccessful in his business. But what happened then? What happened then? If Prabhupada would have cried, oh my Lord, why are you not helping me to become a big successful businessman? I could have given so much donation to you. I could have done so many things to you. Would I have been Iskon be there? Would I have been so many people be there who practice in Krishna? Would I have been so many temples would have been there? Krishna's plans are bigger than ours. Mm -hmm. you know? So we, we should have faith in Lord Krishna. Yes. No, if I am getting something, it is your mercy. And if it is, I am not getting mercy, then also it is your mercy, my Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, because we think that this is the problem, right? That, as I said initially, we always think that I am always at the wrong receiving part. I am always, you know, receiving all the bad things. But there are many people, you know, in in this world who are much, much having difficult, much worse situation than ours. As I say, I, as I always say that we should be proud of being a Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. You know, one one song is there in uh, uh, in Anamacharya in Andhra. He he very great Acharya of Lord uh, uh, Narayana. He he writes a song saying, "Hari Nama Mukati Chalada." Means what? Is it not enough? Just Hari Nama is not just enough for us. What else we need? Mm -hmm. And we can see our, our past times of uh, like examples of. The Goswamis, the six Goswamis, they were so rich, so big, big, powerful personalities, but they left everything and they were just living as mendicants, poor beggars in Vrindavan. So we are not living like that. We are not living like beggars and all. Krishna has given us nice everything. He has given us this nice platform called ISKCON to practice. So what else more we want? Difficulties is always there, you know, without difficulty. Otherwise, we will start thinking that this is the heaven. You know, I don't want to get out of this. You know, then, then you know, then more problem. <laughs> so, uh, problems are good. You know, the the mood, we should be, as a devotee, we should have a different mood to look at a problem. This is the practice. This is the devotional bhakti. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you could have stopped and Jansi itself, like the League of Devotees and everything. And in your mind, you say, you know, I hate to go and read Kanto time because I'm not there yet. But, you know, we get pieces of nectar from anything. And you remind me of that verse in the 14th chapter where it says, My dear Lord, one who earnestly awaits for you to bestow your causeless mercy upon him, all while patiently suffering the reactions of his past misdeeds and offering you respectful obeisances with his heart, words, and body, is surely eligible for liberation, for it has become his rightful claim. And Prabhupada gives that, that, um, that uh, Sanskrit word Shu Shamik Shamana indicates that devotees earnestly await the mercy, you know, like suffering in the past lives. Yeah. yeah. It's the good fight on <laughs> the battlefield. It's worth, worth it. It's worth it. As it said, like, you know, there is no loss or diminution. You have to be. And uh, Prabhupada clearly said, Bhakti, when we are practicing this devotion service, means we are raging war against Maya. It's not that easy. It's not at all easy against Maya, the most powerful weapon in this material world. Not all these atomic bombs or all these things, you know, not any big, big, anyway. There's no powerful than anything called Maya. We are waging war against it. So, we can expect some things back. Okay, any, anything more? Anybody wants to add anything more? Otherwise, we can stop. 
हरे कृष्णा मुरलीधर केशव प्रभु हरे कृष्णा प्रभु थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द वंडरफुल क्लास ऑल्सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मदर शोभा राधे आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कन्वे द मैसेज दैट इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल योर एक्सटेंडेड सर्विसेज दिस मॉर्निंग यू स्टिल गेव द क्लास थैंक यू सो मच आई एम जस्ट कन्वे कन्वे द मैसेज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मदर शोभा राधे थैंक यू सो मच द वंडरफुल Thank you very much, Prabhu, for a nice class. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Mataji. Hari Krishna. Thank you, Hari Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Hari Krishna. Jai Shri Lakshmi Ki Jai. Thank you. Mancha kal padalu bhesha krupa sinu. Padita nam. 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 Pad Okay. Okay. Yeah. And thanks to Dr. Brett for he he brought a lot more out of you at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um and by asking those questions he um you were able to elaborate and give us some practical um advice on uh Krishna conscious philosophy and how we apply it in our lives. So uh that was a very nice exchange between the two of you. So thank you. I'm happy we were able to be part of that. Okay. Thank you so much Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna